Hello everyone and welcome to the course Alisha's Guide to CSS. I am Alisha, your instructor and in this lesson what we are going to do is we are going to deal with CSS selectors. Now what are CSS selectors? CSS selectors are ID and classes. Now why do we need to do CSS selectors and everything like that? Well, so that we can style all of these elements which have classes and IDs. So let's get started. So before we start with our CSS, let's write some simple HTML and let's say we have our h1 tag which says I am here and then close it. Then we have another h1 tag which says what and we close it here and then we have some p tags saying some random stuff. So this is lorem ipsum if you don't know and then close the tag then let's say we have another h4 saying bye bye and we close it so this is our simple html file if you see here we have two h1 tags one p tag and one h4 tag now let's save this and see how our file looks like This is our HTML file which is now opening. So it's a simple blank file. It has simple blank text, text, no styling at all. It just says I'm here, what, some paragraph and then our H4 as well. Okay, so now it's time for us to give it some styling. So for that, what we are going to do is we in the last class saw how we can do that for tags right so let's do that to our h4 so we have this h4 here so this is how we did it we just wrote the tag name and then started with the curly braces then we saw that it's property colon value and ended by a semicolon right but okay so let's give it some property and some value so let's say color equal to green and we save it then let's go back to our web page refresh it and we see nothing happened now as I told in the last class as well what is the problem here I think you can guess it well it's because I did not link it here it's important that you link your external CSS file to your HTML file Otherwise, how will the HTML know that you have written some H CSS over there? So it's selector.css. Again, both .html and .css file are in the same folder. And that is the reason why I've only entered the file name and no path is there. But if you have them in different folders, you must mention the path name. Okay. So now save. Both are saved now. Let's go to our hello.html and you can see it's now green in color, right? Okay. Now, moving on to classes and IDs. So, let's say I give an ID to this H1 and say style me is the ID. Okay. And then I give a class to this p tag which is um, you can just give it anything so I'm giving para or instead of para let's give it style just style okay and then let's have another h not h4 let's have something like h3 here and say style me as well and then close the h3 and we give the class as style here again okay now before we move on to our css part let's understand what's the difference between an id and a class okay so id is unique to an element just like i have my own id card and my id card is known for my identification and cannot be used for anyone else 
Similarly, this ID is specific to this H1 tag and it cannot be used for any other tag. You can use ID here, but the value of the ID should be something else like this. You can give an ID like this, but you cannot give the same ID here. Whereas in case of class, class can be same for multiple tags. As you can see here, my para tag has a class style. Similarly, my H3 also has the same class style. Now let's get styling. So let's go to selector.css. We have already styled our H4, which did not have any class or ID. Now let's do that for our ID style me. So for ID, we start with a hash and then write the ID. So what is our ID? It's style me. So we just type that as style me. And let's change the font size. So let's say the font size is 50 pixels. And we also want to change the color of the text. We want it to be, what do we want it to be? It can be anything. Let's say we want it to be pink and done. Let's go back and see how our HTML file looks like now. When we refresh, we see now it's pink in color, it's bigger in size, and here we have it. Now, if I want to style my class, say this class style, which is applicable to my this para and this H3, so let's do that now. To style a class, you start with dot and then your class name, for our case, this is style and then let's say we want to add some background color and we add the background color to be purple and then text color. So for text color, you just write color. So color, let's say white, I think it won't look good, but let's see. So we come here, we refresh. Okay, it looks fine. So you can see that the background color for your paragraph and your H3 is now, background color is now purple and the text color is white. So this is how you can style multiple tags using ID and class and then even tag. Now there's one thing to notice here, okay. Suppose I had another H4 here. H4. Hey, wait for me. Okay. Then, what will happen is, the styling that I did for my H4 tag will be applied to both the H4s. So you use class and IDs in case you want to style a particular tag H4, particularly this H4, but you don't want to style the last H4. So that is when the picture of ID and classes come. This is just for you to distinguish one tag from another, right? So for example, I would say if I had another P tag here, okay, so let's add another P tag. Hi, I am another P tag. Close it. Done. Right. So these two P tags are different, are the same tags, right? So they have same. But how do I identify if I want to like separate them or distinguish them? How do I do that? By adding a class or an ID to one of the tags and then all of these things, all of these styling here will only be applied to this P tag and not to this P tag. So let's just refresh and see. So you can see this is another P tag but does not have any styling because it did not have that tag uh, class. I believe now you'll be able to work with CSS selectors with no problem. But if you have any doubts, please comment it down in the comment section and I will surely help you. If you like this video, please share it with your friends so that they can also take advantage of this course. Now, if you are looking for a course in CSS, 
with certification then i am putting a link below in the description box do check that out thank you so much for watching